everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here, and even though it'll be a few days before we see another full vintage G.I. Joe toy review, I wanted to keep in touch with you guys by posting uh, a short video showing you something that I got at the G.I. Joe convention. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who saw me and recognized me and came up and said hi at JoeCon. Thank you very much. That really was a thrill for me. It was great to meet all you guys in person, and I hope you, I get to see you again. So let's take a look at this small vehicle, the 1985 Cobra Ferret ATV, and this has a surprising number of features for such a small vehicle. It has these missiles, uh, two of them, and they're sort of like two-way missiles. I'm not sure how those are supposed to work, but maybe we can try to figure that out when we do a full review of this in the future. Uh, it has rubber wheels, and that's always a very nice feature. Uh, it has four nice big fat tires on it. Uh, it has this cannon here in front uh, that is synchronized and will turn when you turn the handlebars, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it'll also uh, elevate, so that's nice. It has a really big cannon here on the side. Uh, it has a uh, compartment cover here in the back, um, and, uh, and the front wheels will turn as well. Uh, lots of nice detail, and this uh, vehicle did feature pretty prominently in G.I. Joe Media, so we'll have a lot to say about it. And despite the fact that this is a small vehicle, there's a lot to look at here. So this is going to be a pretty sweet full review when we get to it. But that's just a quick look at it now. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and don't forget to check back with this channel for more full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews coming up. Thanks for watching.